good handle. HB storage mass. On air to ground one, how you read me? And we all know that when the going gets tough, and it often does the tough get going, and you have. And Sonny and I are honored to share this dream of space flight with each and every one of you. So with that, LC, let's get going. Now let's put some fire in this rocket. And Houston Skyline, we are on the tablet and in the social monitor. confident that if we had to, if there was a problem with the International Space Station, we can get in our spacecraft and we can undock, talk to our team, and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, the spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Absolutely confident. We've already, as Sonny mentioned, for safe haven, we had that uh, uh, test, not just the, the, the test, but also to, to do it for real when we had that possible conjunction a few weeks ago. And we got in Starliner, we were ready to go. Everything's in place as far as what we know now. That's a, that is a good point. We are actually doing thruster testing as we speak at White Sands, New Mexico, going through that process, uh, trying to replicate what we saw on that flight day two when we were rendezvousing. And we are, we're gonna learn from that and we're gonna incorporate new processes, new procedures that we will uh, employ if necessary. So obviously uh, right now we are ready. Uh, we will be ready then unless the, the, the data shows otherwise. But right now, based on what we know, we are absolutely ready. Good sir, then. Thank you. 
Thank you to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communication. It feels good to float around. It feels good to be in space and work up here with the International Space Station team. So, yeah, it's great to be up here. So I, I'm not complaining. Butch isn't complaining that we're here for a couple weeks, um, extra weeks. Uh, I can tell you that uh, this is, this is the, the world of test. This is a tough business that we're in. Human spaceflight is not easy in any regime, and there have been multiple issues with every spacecraft that's ever been designed, and that's the nature of what we do. You know, that mantra you've heard, failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. It was truly amazing the precision that this spacecraft held. And then we got into day two, the start of day two, it was the same starting off. And then we did have some failures as we're all aware. We had some, lost a, 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 an RCS jet and then we lost a, another one. And then you could tell the thrust, uh, the, the control, the capability was degraded. The handling qualities were not the same. But thankfully, uh, we had uh, practiced and we had gotten certified for manual control. And so we took over manual control for over an hour on the V-bar, the axis where we actually rendezvous with the space station and for over an hour while the, the teams on the ground did their troubleshooting and we got a couple of jets back and then from that point on you could tell that the thrust was degraded at the time we didn't know why obviously uh, that that since the failures had just happened you could tell it was degraded but it was still impressive so much for taking the time we're excited to talk to you again shortly before you come home have a great rest of your mission.